Frieza, OG Frieza, as I like to put it. <laughs> this is OG Frieza. Guys, we'll do the giveaway after the Linda Young Q&A. Okay, once again, guys, let's go ahead and get the panel for Linda Young started. Thank you so much, and please give me a warm welcome for Linda Young one more time. This is going to be for you. Welcome, once again. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Um, it is a Dragon Ball Fest. We're trying to keep it kind of Dragon Ball, but I want one thing I do want to ask. Well, Frieza, knowing Frieza character as it is, and that you brought to life, do you think Frieza would vote? Would vote? Yes. Only for himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, Guys, you all know who Frieza is, right? Everybody yeah. knows? Okay. Oh, these are my little monkeys. <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, hell, the great, powerful Freezer. Oh, my. Thank you for showing respect. Hey, one more Freezer. Where are you? Oh, you're it's back there. It's a Freezer. Oh, golden Freezer. <laughs> Cyborg Freezer. Yes, I don't like that. Bring back bad memories. That trucks, fella. You got killed by Freezer, by Vegeta's son. Or King Vegeta's grandson. <laughs> well, again, thank you for being here. Yes. So wonderful to have you always. Thank you. And I hope you had a great dinner yesterday. How was it? I ate, I ate too much. Freezer <laughs> 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 And uh, to touch base on the big fan that you have with Grand Ball, um, how amazing is this? Don't get this love and attention so many Um, I think my favorite part about the cons is meeting everybody. The, because it's just amazing how there are so many fans that love the show and and uh, that tell me their stories about how it really affected them or helped their lives or it brings families together, families do it together. It's just, it's just my favorite part. My part that is not favorite is taking all the airplanes. Ah! <laughs> and in all the airports, I get airport anxiety sometimes. It's like sometimes I want to go freeze out on them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> and um, I've seen a little bit of your music before. You have such a lovely voice. How did you pull from the transition of that beautiful voice to freeze this voice <laughs> that is beautiful and gorgeous too because it's wonderful when it's raspy? So oh, I know. It's so raspy. Um, well, when I went to audition, we had to actually imitate voices of the Ocean Dove characters because they were bringing it to the United States and wanted a smooth transition. Maybe people wouldn't know. So, um, we went, <laughs> this was a long time ago, okay? So they had a little cassette tape and you had to listen to all the voices on the cassette tapes and see which ones you could imitate. And then you went into the little song booth and had to remember the voices you listened to on the cassette tape. And they'd say, okay, here's lines for this character, here's lines for that character. And all I knew was the character Frieza, which I didn't really remember the name then, had the raspy voice. So that was one of the ones I auditioned for. And then I ended up getting it, which was really strange to me because I had never done a raspy voice before. That does surprise me at I know. All. I always did voices like this and all that kind of stuff. Ariel. <laughs> oh, yeah, always. <laughs> and little boys, I always did little boy voices. So I thought for sure I'd get something like that. But no, I got Frieza. <laughs> but I'm glad I did. And to top it off, honestly, I say that it's the villain, the biggest villain Dragon Ball has ever had because not only did it help shape Dragon Ball as it is, especially for the more modern crowd, but it's still a very important character in the series. Yeah. The last in the series finale yes. that we've had so far. So how has that still been so significant on your career? It's just weird to be Frieza. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I still am just surprised.
surprised, really, at how many people um, like the character and like the voice. And I mean, my husband, you know, he's the type that will be somewhere and he'll go, do you watch Dragon Ball Z? He'll go, Freezer. <laughs> And it used to kind of bug me, but now it doesn't because I see that the people are happy and they, you know, get to take a picture or whatever. And so I don't mind when he does it. And uh, honestly, you have had a huge impact on everybody here. I'm pretty sure I can speak for everybody when I say that. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything you've done. And thank you for being here. Well, I thank you if I had a heart. <laughs> <laughs> Now, going back to Frieza in the series, I know we probably get asked this a lot, but for us it means a lot to hear What is your favorite part of the series? My favorite part of the series? Yeah. Being Frieza yourself. Hmm. Frieza's sense of humor. Yes. That's an all time favorite for me. Especially when you go dance, monkey. <laughs> Yeah, the or you have all the power levels of a boy scout troop. <laughs> Wait, a girl scout troop. <laughs> okay, at this point I would like to open up the floor for questions. You got one, sir? Yeah. Uh, besides Freezer, you also voice Babidi. Yeah. Uh, Master Roshi's sister and Ariel. Yes. Uh, which one do you think uh, will Freezer get along with? Freeza get along with? Oh dang, get along with the same one? <laughs> no, none of them. Well, um... Well, I'll say besides Freeza, which one is your second favorite of a voice um, in? There's also Fasha. I did Fasha and also Mr. Satan's secretary. Oh yeah, huh? I love her. She's one of my favorites. Like, you have a phone call, Mr. Satan? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad funny. Um, I don't know, but Baba's very funny. I like Baba. She crashes into walls and she's like, charges money anytime she wants some more. She, and what she, is it, six million denarii? Or, and she's, that'll be six she, million, six trillion, six zillion denarii. She sang a little bit? She did a little singing? She what? She sang a little bit? Oh yeah, she did Yes. Sing a bit. Like, Baba is my name, Teddy Fortunes is my name. We, we had that episode and um, we were just goofing around and they said, let's just make it into a little song. And it was really like Gilligan's Island. Oh, wow. Here I'm Gilligan's Island. <laughs> so, you got a question? Was I scared when I was playing? You mean scared of myself? <laughs> Oh, nervous when I went in to first start playing the character. Um, excited. I was excited. You know, where you have the little butterflies in your stomach. Yeah. Was this your first anime character? It was because it hadn't really started yet here. <laughs> so, um, well, it was, yeah, I, had, I did animated characters before, but not Japanese anime. Frieza was, yeah, the first. And how was it, uh, did you look at the Japanese tape or the Mexican tapes to do the dub? Um, when I was, we didn't, when I was doing the dub, we didn't hear the sound. So I don't know. Oh, so you, so you had to create your, the character yourself. We saw the tape. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but we didn't. Now when you go in, you hear, um, They'll play the Japanese first, the version, so you can hear, you can kind of know what the mood there, and you kind of get the timing. But back then, I don't remember. No, no, I don't think you even had a preview. They looked at them, but I don't think we did. The directors, yeah, yeah. Wow. So you pretty much you created the character as famous as it is because even though they do an interjection, they do the bangles and everything, you want it live yourself, your personality. Well, and the, and the director, you know, how they direct you, to, they direct you what to do, you know, how, it, like they kept telling me, you, you're going to have to be meaner, Linda. <laughs> you're going to have to be meaner. That's the sass there, right? So well, then once I got mean, it was like, watch out. <laughs> it was too much fun. <laughs>
Do you have any more questions? My favorite form? Oh well, I'm going to have to say my first because that's how I met Frieza, okay? But I also like the fourth form a lot. No, the fourth one is the, the fourth one's the real, you know, oh, how can I show it? Is it the final form before the golden Yes. Oh, okay. So the final form before golden freeze. Yes. Okay. I mean, metro freeze is in between there, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that is a wonderful character. I like that character. Yes? My favorite line in which one? No, I don't really have a favorite. I know people ask me that all the time, but I don't really have a favorite. Um, my husband's favorite is Pop Goes the Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> so, how has uh, Frieza influenced the rest of your animating uh, voice acting career? Well, um, it's like sometimes now I get more raspy kind of voice, <laughs> voices, <laughs> like you know, zombie devil, and and um, there was a character called Zola, on, trapped in a dating sim, a villain, you know, more villains and stuff, and um, and they kind of forget I do the high voices, but it seems like once in a while I get these higher voices from a different place, different, you know, animators. How have these voice acting uh, characters changed your original voice? Changed my, you mean changed my voice? Yes. Oh, they haven't. That's good to hear. Yeah. I know that there's stories out there that some uh, actors, they get into a character so much that their accent changes. No, if, if it ever started to hurt, if, if my voice ever starts to hurt um, from any character I'm doing, I just have to change it and get it in the right place. Whether it's a head voice, you know, in my sinuses or in my throat, you know, or in my chest. There's different places you place your voice. So if you've got it there and you've got it in the place you're used to, it doesn't seem to ever hurt. It's when you get it out of place. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but I'm a singer too, so singers place their voice to do different notes. Kind of like that. Yeah, you still get so much love after so many years. What yeah. is the most character that is, what is the character that is mostly, um, how can I say it? That people come. Yeah, the, the one that people sought out to get more sign signature song, collectible. Okay, Frieza and Genkai. Okay. Genkai from Yu Yu Hakusho. show. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that love that show. And um, Genkai, I love the character Genkai a lot. She's a teacher and she's a fighter. She's very sassy. And she has a little gruffness in her voice. They had me put the gruff in there. Yeah. yeah. And you're someone part of that show too, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And my son was in that show also. Uh, we did ask him earlier who was the biggest influence in your anime voice acting career. And he did say my mom. Oh. He dropped the mic and he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that on tape. I, I can, uh, use, it <laughs> so that's I can nice. use it for black man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So um, we understand you're the OG Frieza. Uh -huh. And is there any projects with that same character coming up? Not with Frieza? No, not for no, because there's because Damon Mills does Frieza. Because he was Chris's understudy. Yeah, I heard of that. But we, Damon's great. Last time we saw each other, we did a couple of videos together. They're on Instagram. They're pretty funny. Arguing about who's Frieza. And it's just fun. <laughs> I'm going to go look at it later on. <laughs> and one, one I, I was do, making the wish, you know, like Frieza. And so I, I wished, I said, all right. I wish to be taller. What, what the heck, younger? And then Damon comes up, you know, because he's tall and young, and he's the one that does Frieza now. So then on the video, he... <laughs> oh, he takes over it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's like my wish. So that's cute. <laughs> okay. 
Anybody have a question? Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Can you repeat once again? Pathetic loser. <laughs> Pathetic loser. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I do love to hear experiences that people still exist. They you know show love and affection for the character in the single board game project. Uh, can you share with us one of the best moments you've had in any convention? You want to hear the first story I heard? Um, the most story well, you probably the first one because when you first hear a story of someone, you know, when they tell you how it impacted their life. I mean, I've heard a lot of them, but the first one, it really got to me. I hardly knew what to do, but um, she came up to my table and she was kind of crying. And she said she loves the character Genkai from Yu Yu Hakusho. And um, then she told me, this is sad though, okay? She was in the hospital because her husband had beat her and she almost died. And there were some of the nurses there watched Yu Yu Hakusho. And they got her to start watching Yu Yu Hakusho. And she saw the character Genkai who's like a grandma and a mom and gives lots of wisdom and she cares but it's tough love and she said it made her start thinking I can do this I can do this I can get better I can be on my own I can conquer this and she said she did she said she healed completely she got on her own she got her own job she was taking care of herself and it just you know it made me cry because it's gonna make me cry now because it was Amazing, and then I realized, you know, oh my gosh, God really had a reason he wanted me to do these characters because they really help other people. Besides bringing fun, and some people, they really help on a serious note. And so when I realized that, I was like, wow. And then um, I really thought I just need to keep coming to conventions and meeting people and as long as I can. So. <laughs> so happy to have you here and thank you for everything. Yes. Yes, sir. Who's your favorite superhero in Dragon Ball Z? Or character? In Dragon Ball Z? My, you mean my favorite good character in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Tien. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Context, that's her son in real life. It's my son. Yeah, I wanted to see him today, you know. I'm going to give him that piece, too. So he's in the black belt. Did you have a daughter, too, that does I have a daughter. She doesn't. No, no, she doesn't do any. No, no. She's like, she's a rock climber. She's, I mean, she does all this adventure stuff. Her nickname is Guns. <laughs> You don't mess with her. <laughs> no, she's as cute as can be, but she's very strong. She really works in the medical field. Um, I asked your, your, your son this question earlier, but, and Yu Yu Hakusho, what is your favorite uh, saga? Your favorite? My favorite saga? I don't know. He said the Dark Tournament was his I favorite. I do like the Dark Tournament. Yeah. But I like... I like all the teaching um, and training of Yusuke, I like all that too. I like all Was that, that your your favorite moment while recording the show? My favorite moment? Yeah, recording favorite, the yeah show? recording moment. I don't know. I don't know because it's so hard because when you, you never see things in context when you're recording, you know what I mean? You're just doing these lines and you don't really realize what's all going on until you see it. I mean, I liked the young Genkai too. The, the story with Yaguro. I like that story too. So I don't know. I'm terrible at having favorites. I'm not good about having favorites. I have too many. It's the same way, like my husband says, you can never even decide what restaurant you want to go to. And it's the truth. I don't know. So you pick and then he can't pick so I'm like I'm not the only one. No, I I think I have a lot of favorites. I don't I'm not I've never been the kind of person that even had um 
like crushes on movie stars or anything when I was younger. I don't know what it is. I don't have favorites. <laughs> Except for TN. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, it's really, you really do have a really wonderful career. Uh, yeah. Great character to voice. Rod's life. Um, with that being said, are we still future projects coming up? I do have some. In fact, I can't talk about it yet, uh, but I've got this offer from... A wonderful organization. It's not, it's, it's a different place in a different country. Oh, and I did do this one. Um, I love this one I did. It's called The Game Catatonic. And it's from the country of Accra. And I play this little chihuahua who is really a leader of the mob. And when we were talking online, um, FaceTiming, uh, they saw my little dog. And he said, look, oh, looks like a chihuahua. And I said, he's not, but he looks like one, especially his face. So they made the character look like my dog. And the name of the character is Bambino Bella, and they renamed it Tiny Bambino Bella. And then he, they sent me the art, and there's, he's in a pink dress and all this stuff, and my husband goes, what's he doing in a pink dress? <laughs> no, but, but I love that because it's my little doggy. And I did another little project where they um, had my character have three dogs, Two of my dogs passed away last year, two of my big dogs, but they had all three dogs. So, it, it, it's like I was thrilled about that because my dogs. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one that I just got offered is really cool, but I can't talk about it yet. You can, uh, we can do like some art. <laughs> you can draw it out. Maybe spell out the, spell out the name. But we'll be looking forward to that, honestly. Uh, we're so excited to see those projects. Yeah. You are a wonderful individual and you keep inspiring us. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> being fans. You're the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, with uh, Dragon Ball Z being such a open gateway to you know, a big role, because I, I, I believe it's a big role in that season, uh -huh. what other role do you feel was such a that part with that love? Genkai. Genkai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So with Frieza, a lot of people seem to connect. I know. With this I know. How do you feel about this? <laughs> I don't know. I guess because Frieza is just well, basically a spoiled brat. It basically does whatever he wants, says whatever he wants thinks he's just really cool, no matter what anyone else thinks, thinks he can do anything, and he ends up doing it. So, I mean, and then he's funny. I think he's a little. <laughs> so, you know, I can see how people relate to him. And plus, he was the one that made Goku go Super Saiyan. So, there's that. Thanks to Frieza, we have. That's right. That's right. That's right. Frieza wouldn't like that part of. Yeah. <laughs> Frieza wouldn't like that part in it. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, thank you so much. And then uh, going back to the music. Mm -hmm. How's that going? Fine. I have a gig when I get home on Tuesday um, with the big band. And the big band is fun because there's like 25 instruments. And we sing, you know, the big band songs, but we, they started up in the songs. Now there's some baby boomer songs and stuff in there. <laughs> so it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And then I have the little smaller groups too. But I've always loved singing. I mean, singing something I did since I was a kid with my dad a lot. You know. yep. And singing, oh, this is another thing, anime actually has a rhythm to it. When you're in there recording, there is a certain rhythm to anime. I mean, there's always, there's beats that go beep, 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 and you come in on the fourth beat for your line. And then another beep, you come in. But after you get to feel that rhythm, you can kind of say your lines and they can almost be right with the flaps, you know, because you have to match those flaps. 
not as much as we used to have to because they can move it a little back or forth or um, they can squish it, they call it, with their equipment. But there's actually a rhythm and there are so many people in anime that are somehow in music, whether it's an instrument, um, singing, yeah. So music and anime seem to be related. Yeah, there's something about it. And like I told you, um, as a singer too, you can place your voice. And there's a lot of singers too that have never had me. Uh, a <laughs> oh, actually, I did one. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's on, it's on Spotify or something like that. It's kind of part of it. It's like, I'm Lord Frieza, ruler of the universe. Bow down to me, or you'll be buried in the dirt. That's part of it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, but they, I was dressed in the Indian stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> and you say you flew, you don't like flights, you got a little bit of anxiety. Where'd you come from? Uh, California? Oh, here? Yeah. No, here was a simple trip. This okay. was from Dallas area. Oh, wow. And this was good. The airports were good. You know, there was no, um, there was no, well, there was a little delay, but, you know, not stuck in the airport forever or anything like that, which is not fun. But do you, um, by any chance, do you comfort yourself with any of these anime voices you ever wrote? Do I what? Comfort yourself? Comfort myself with the end of Oh yeah, I guess once in a while. <laughs> if I'm really mad or something, I guess, yeah. Like what would freeze Pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so sometimes, yeah. I mean, I catch myself playing anime uh, scenes in my head when I have faced certain situations, especially when I have my PTSD in Afghanistan. Uh -huh. So, uh, I mean, anime has been a big influence for me. Oh, wow. Uh, I was a combat medic, and when I would get after any kind of uh, issues that we had over there, I arrived, uh, I would come back to see Grandpa. Okay. Grandpa, uh, so, I would play scenes in my head when I had moments of anxiety. Wow. And it's so many military people like Dragon Ball Z. It's a really good way to cope with mental health. Yeah. It? And it really, really helps a lot. Um, it helped me a lot. I was a combat medic, so I can tell you a lot. I about know. Me. I know. Uh, but yes, I have a lot of dark humor, and Frieza is one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite characters. Yeah, uh, Frieza so does have dark humor. Yes, he does. Yeah. Pop goes so easy. So yes, I would play a lot of those scenes in my head. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can imagine you talking to yourself in Frieza form. <laughs> But, uh, do we have any more questions for the four guys? Yes, please. Oh, that was very sad. I mean, no one expected it. So, yeah. It was just, it was kind of unbelievable. Yeah. But, all his work will live on, and on and on and on. For sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot oh, this question. <laughs> Did you forget your question? <laughs> you little monkey. <laughs> Stupid apes. <laughs> chimpanzees. I was talking about the chimpanzees in that series. As you know. I know you said you made a wish earlier, but if Frieza had a wish to the giant boss, what do you think it would be? From freezer, really? <laughs> Immortality! Yeah. His original wish. Which, his original. That's what seems like the real wish. <laughs> but he seems to progress as a character throughout the entire series. Um, he changed a lot, so. I think he fakes it sometimes. <laughs> he fakes it trying to look like he's being a little nicer. Who fakes it? Yeah. I think so. He's not nice. <laughs> he may be funny. Have people recognize you when you go do interviews for other jobs, such as Frieza? Um, I don't. I mean, any auditions are online now. Oh wow! You know, so you don't really see people. But sometimes people recognize me. You know, in a restaurant or something, which is really kind of odd. But it's from the videos on. Mine. Yeah. yeah. And you 
visited so many places already. Because yeah. Of this event, because have you gone overseas? I have, and um, to the UK, and I might be going. Well, I was invited to Australia, but I was already booked up, and I didn't go. So um, going to Puerto Rico, and oh yes, yeah, some of the Spanish actors will be there. Oh, wow. In Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. No. <laughs> I, that's all I know. Si. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Say what? Maila? Shanito? What is it? Milo Chanito? Milo Chanito. Milo Chanito. And that's <laughs> it's a quote for Dragon Ball Z. It's a quote for Dragon Ball Z, guys. Let's be nice. I'll see if I can remember it. <laughs> for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is one of the love. Do you guys have any more questions? Because <laughs> I can't see the answer right in the corner of my eye. <laughs> Surprise. What was your surprise when uh, you saw that Goku transform into Ultra Instinct? So, My surprise? Were you, were you surprised? I'm never surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful to see this project continue to grow and to feel the love. Honestly, it's just wonderful to have you here. After so many uh, times you've been here already, I wish and I hope to continue to have you again. Well, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I think from everybody, if you can give her a warm welcome and thank you for being here. Okay, guys? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you all. It's been a lot of fun here. Thank you. Mm -hmm.